We're going to import orthographic images created by scene into Pharaohzone 3D. First, you have to create an ortho image in scene with the ortho image plugin. Once that's completed, we can now open Pharaohzone 3D, choose the import icon, choose the scene TIFF icon, and locate uh, our TIFF image we want to bring in. Now, because these were created in scene and they are TIFF images, they will automatically scale when they're imported into Pharaohzone 3D. I'm going to select um, the one labeled Gap Fill. And to show you the differences in the different type of images you can bring in. Now, this is a gap filled image, top view of an office. Now, when I bring this in, it's going to ask me if I want to create a full resolution. In this case, uh, I'm going to tell it no, because we don't have to have full resolution for this. If it were a crash or a long outdoor scene, we may consider the full resolution. Now, in this case, we have a top-down view of an office area. There's a conference table. Over here are some desks and chairs, trash cans, uh, work, other work areas, uh, some stairs. Now, you don't have to bring in a gap-filled image. You could use clear view in scene and bring in a clear view image. And I have a couple of those to show you. This particular uh, clear view image is uh, an isolated image. In other words, I've adjusted the clipping box just to show the outlines of the walls. So this is good for tracing over. In fact, any of them actually are good for tracing over. But I'm going to show you another image. This one is going to show uh, a bit less transparency. And we can see a bit more of the floor area in gray. So that can help this stand out a little bit more, these edges. So it's your choice how you want to work with the data whether you like the full resolution image showing all of the colors, the floor, and all of that, or if you want the clear view so you can just trace over the edges.